Hello everyone. So I reassembled this uh, Mako lock and it had two keys with it. Now this one will work. You gotta push in on it a little bit and it'll work. It'll turn it. This one no matter what amount of pushing or turning <laughs> pulling or it ain't it ain't gonna work I looked at them the keys and they look the bidding looks identical which it should be so the only other way to fix this if you want both keys working is to take it apart again it did it does have a, a, a hitch in it now I mean, when you push it forward, it's smooth. But there's that slight, you know, like, challenge lock kind of. Well, that's not just slight. That was solid. Bunk. All right. But see, it works with that key, but it doesn't work with this one. <clears throat> so there might be something slightly different on the cut depth on this. But uh, the way to do that, the way I'm going to do that, is I'm going to take this thing apart again and because I want it I want it set up right when I get ready to pick it I could pick it right now a lot of times even if one key won't work and the other one will that's not going to make any difference when you go to pick it I mean I pick locks where no key would work on it um, just because you're not relying on the height of the key you know you're manipulating with your pick Anyways, that's what I'm going to do with this one. I'm going to go ahead and take it apart. It's just such a, a nice day. and I got home and I'm ready to work on some more locks. Yeah, these copper C-clips here, you can just go up here on this top right here and just kind of like lever them out. I like those. See, it does a job. It doesn't have to be super titanium steel strong and hold against a nuclear attack and all that other thing. You know, all the C-clip needs to do is just hold the core in place while the key is being pulled out. Really, I mean, it's its the only job. It's, it, some of these is like challenge lock C-clips, man. They're, uh, they're more challenging than the locks a lot of times the C-clips are. If you have a, a contest or a, a, something like that where how long if somebody has to would have to supply the C clips and all that, but <laughs> how long do, it would take to to get into uh, a C clip, you know, the quickest way is not destroy it. I don't know. Rambling. All right, we're gonna get this thing again. Got the key in there. I push it. I, I use a shim, especially if your follower's got any slack in it. And uh, I like, oops, there went the key pins again. See, I'm always doing something wrong. I thought I had them facing me, and they were facing down. One landed in my lap. One, two, three, there's one on the desk. I think we've got them all accounted for. All right. Oh, there's one sitting right there. Right, how not to do things. Lesson number one. Always make sure of your orientation of your um, key when you get ready to pull it out. How are the key pins? Are they facing you or are they facing down? You'll find out when you get ready to pull it out. Right, so I'm going to kind of repopulate this. That one's too small. That one's all right. Got this really short guy here. I don't know where he was. Here, maybe. And this guy here. Maybe there. Yep. Alright, I'm missing one. This guy sitting here I don't think belongs in there. I think this was something that was going to be used for something else. Nope, yep. sits perfectly. Guess it does belong in there. 
Right, so with this key, the one that works, it turns, but it's got a slight hitch. Um, you got to push it forward, which would mean that everybody's balanced and perfectly aligned when you push it forward. So I'm going to extract this key carefully. There we go. Then I'm going to put the non-working one. I should mark this somehow. Here, we'll mark it like this. Eh. Mm, 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 mm. So scratched on that one file. There we go. This is a non-working one. Let's see what we get that's different when I put it in there. Wow, so uh, pin number two feels a little bit higher, and so does one. But pin number two is protruding up quite a bit. So the way I would fix that is I would just go over here to the key and on slot number two just file that down a little bit. I happen to have a foil real handy but I don't know if this is the correct foil. This is a squarish foil. Might be better. So I'm just going to take a couple of wax at him. Because you can always Remove more metal, but you can't remove if you remove too much. Oops, and I'm on the wrong one. See, already screwing up. There we go. All right, now let's check this again. Little bit better. Not by a whole lot. And I still have to work on pin 1, too. He's also a little high. So I'm basically going to customize this key for this lock. I mean, they were both working before, so it's something I've done. But uh, I always try to fix my own mistakes. And usually I cause my own problems that i got to fix. But that's how you learn stuff. At least that's how I learn it. Usually the hard way. Right. Let's get this in here. Put this guy in. Ooh, better. A little bit better. Still sticking up a bit. I think I can file a little bit more on two. And this is a, a square file, but it's tapered, so... Um, I only have a small surface that I can really mess with. I can't go all the way down the length of it. But you don't need to take off a lot when you're fine-tuning something. Which is what's going on here. A bit of fine-tuning. Right. So, it's kind of hard to tell when you... Um, leave it at rest and not fidget with it all right one looks like he's sticking up a little bit and so does two a little slightly so i still got to work some more on one make sure i got the right one yeah, he's got scratches all over him so file on here hopefully this angle is good because uh, i don't want my head in the way and my hat not going to carry it off all the other glitches we get. There. If that isn't enough, then tough. I'm going to try you anyway. So, all these guys down here feel real good. But pin 2 is still sticking up a little bit. And if it's sticking up with the key in there, then that means it's going to be too high. And it won't, it'll, it'll basically snag the Bible over there and you won't be able to get past the shear line. And you can't um, do anything with the key, but if that was a pick, all you would have to do is release pressure a little bit and the driver would push the pin down. And if you got turning pressure, bam, the lock would come open. But since this is a key... 
it's trying to pick all the pins at the right position already mechanically just by its height and in this case it's too high on this one maybe I'll get this key to work even better than the other one because I didn't mess with the other key all right that's feeling better that's feeling much better uh, We'll take one close gander. All right, I think I can live with pin one. It's kind of snaggy up there, but I think I can live with this. I think this key should should turn this lock. You can also turn this thing in this like this, like a little cylinder. But the tolerances are fairly high, so but that's another way to mess around with a act like a lock. But you can see both of those. I don't know if you can see it, but both pin 1 and 2 are sticking up. Everybody else is a little bit lower. Pin 1 and 2 always always got to be up there. And they're the highest cuts, so you kind of expect that. But when the key's in there, it should, should be at rest. It should be flush. You don't want to go too deep, and you don't want to go too high. You want to go just right. And that's what we're looking for just right now they've got these uh key cutter machines on banggood they're like 37 bucks or so i've looked at them before it would eliminate a lot of the filing and stuff but you may still have to file all right get in there there we go i think we're gonna file this one away is done <laughs> There, they're still not perfect, and I'm not that obsessed with this particular lock, so you know, I just want it functioning. And I've already got one key functioning, I'm just gonna pick it anyway. I don't really don't even need a key, but just want to make sure it's because the problem was, you know, it was working fine before I started messing with it, <laughs> and after I start messing with it, psh, I'm lucky to have them running again. You make sure you got this right here. I got this uh, shim in here because this thing's got that little gap right there. And pins like to snag in there. All right, everybody's going good. Here's another indication. When you're pushing your follower in and uh, you run into pin two and you have to push it down to get it to go in the core, that, that might be a problem right there. Could be. Right, so I, I haven't filed. Oh, I've got the. Here went pin one. I haven't uh, filed enough on pin two with this key. That's a good way to see also where your problem is. See, everything was going good until I came up to pin two and then it went. Err! And I had to push it down with my finger, which you shouldn't have to do. So that means it's sticking up high still sticking up too high there we go back to work now I could take the other key you know and just stick it in there and have the lock working but I started this so I gotta finish it and then later on I can look at it and go man Why didn't you learn that? Why are you having to look at your own video on how to fix your own lock? Ooh, that'd be good if you get like Alzheimer's and stuff, you know? You start, you stop remembering and go, Who's this guy, man? I've been following this guy. And you're watching your own videos. And you think you're somebody else. You're watching somebody else. I don't want to make fun of Alzheimer's because I might get it, so, you know. But still, I find humor in all kinds of things. All right. Usually what I what I create, the problems I create is humor. All right, I'm gone in 14 minutes and 31 seconds. Sorry this is taking so long. But I'm going to reassemble this, try to reassemble it. And if I don't get this reassembled right now, because I just did a little bit of filing, I might need to file some more. But if this guy doesn't want to reassemble with this key, then, yep, we still have to do some more filing. 
I'm gonna try a different file. See, I got it in there, but it's just it's just too tight. Feel that? Uh, I mean, I can turn it. Ooh, I don't want to go all the way up in case I want to recut it. I got my shim in there still too. A lot of times, the thickness of the shim will make it feel tight too, because it's you know the thickness of a shim in there. So I'm gonna leave this right here like this and. Uh, stop this video right now because it's already 15 minutes.